హాయ్ హలో నమస్తే మీరు వింటున్నారు ప్రవాస సింధుల గుండి చప్పుడు తెలుగు ఎన్ఆర్ఐ రేడియోలో నేను మీ ఆర్జే సిరి నాన్ స్టాప్ హంగమాలు ఎంటర్టైన్ చేయడానికి వచ్చారు మరి ఆ స్పెషల్ గెస్ట్ ఎవరు ఏమిటి అంటే ప్రతి ఒక్కరు ఇప్పుడు ఎక్కడ చూసినా ఎటు విన్న సీతారామం సీతారామం అంటూ సీతారామం సినిమాలో సీతారామం పాటల్లో సీతారామం బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ మ్యూజిక్ ఏంటి సీతారామం కోరస్ ఏంటి ఎక్కడ చూసినా సీతారామం అంటూ ఆ మాయలో ఉన్నారు మరి అలాంటి అద్భుతమైన ఒక అందమైన ప్రేమ కావ్యానికి మరింత అందమైన మ్యూజిక్ ని అందిస్తేనే కదా ఆ సినిమా అందరి మనసుల్లో స్థానం సంపాదించింది మరి అంత అందమైన మ్యూజిక్ ని మనకి అందించిన విశాల్ చంద్రశేఖర్ గారు ఇవాళ మనతో ఉన్నారు ఆయన్ని సాధారణంగా మనం వేదిక మీదకి ఆహ్వానిద్దాం నమస్తే విశాల్ సార్ వెల్కమ్ టు తెలుగు అనారై రేడియో నమస్తే నమస్తే రియలీ ఆనర్ టు బి పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ షో రియలీ హ్యాపీ టు బి పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ షో Thanks a lot uh, for giving your wonderful time. I know you are so busy now, busy in uh, um, celebrating your success, busy in sharing the joy with all your loved ones. Still, you make your time to just give us and uh, absolutely we are thankful to you. Really happy to be part of this show, ma'am, because it is because of the listeners that I am getting this kind of a, a, a break and this kind of an opening. So, I am really happy to interact with everyone. So, before we start... <laughs> uh we just want to present a small ap about you uh with filled all the love we have on you oh wow so uh. let's listen to the small ap visal chandrasekhar dadapu 30 cinema laku pai ga swaralan andinchina adbhuta swarakarta arela vayasulo ne keyboard vaincharam prarambhinchi 17 vayasulo solo show lu ivadam prarambhinchar aina తమిళ్ తెలుగు భాషల్లో ఎన్నో హిట్లు అందుకున్న ఆయనకు సక్సెస్ అలవోకగా ఏమీ రాలేదు ఎంతో కష్టం దాని వెనుక ఉంది అన్నా యూనివర్సిటీ నుండి ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ మీడియాలో మాస్టర్స్ డిగ్రీతో పట్టభద్రుడయ్యాక నాలుగు వందల యాభైకి పైగా షార్ట్ ఫిలింలు రెండు వందల యాభై యాడ్ జింగిల్స్ లో మ్యూజిక్ ఇచ్చారు బిశాల్ కలైంజర్ టీవీలో ఓ షోలో ఉత్తమ సంగీత దర్శకుడిగా ఎంపికయ్యాడు ఆ తరువాత ఆయన తెలుగు సినిమా హృదయం ఎక్కడ ఉన్నది సినిమాలో అవకాశం పొందారు హను రాఘవపూడితో కృష్ణగాడి వీరప్రేమ గాథ పడిపడి లేచను మనసే సీతారామం వంటి హ్యాట్రిక్ సినిమాలు చేశారు ఓ భావోద్వేగ పూరిత ప్రేమ కథకు బాణీలు అందించడం అంత సులభమైన విషయమేం కాదు అందుకే సీతారామం ఓ అందమైన ప్రేమ కావ్యంగా మారడంలో విశాల్ చంద్రశేఖర్ కృషి ఎంతో ఉంది ఇలాంటి మరెన్నో మెలోడీ మ్యూజిక్ హిట్ లను మాకు అందించాల్సిందిగా మనస్ఫూర్తిగా కోరుకుంటున్నాం సో ప్లీజ్ వెల్కమ్ దిశాల్ చంద్రశేఖర్ గారు All it is ours and uh, the big thank you to Mahesh Garu who is one of the head of our radio. He's got a wonderful voice. Yes, he has a magical voice uh, and he's a dubbing artist as well. Thank you Mahesh sir. So, uh, we will start the interview uh, with the joy you are currently in that uh, cloud nine. We can't say cloud nine, we can say more than nine, ten, eleven, anything about Sita Ramam. So, how you are uh, celebrating the success, how you are feeling about it? i am uh, it's like uh, this is the kind of uh, break and this is the kind of movie that i've been wanting to do for so many years now because uh, the amount of um, uh, uh, love that i started uh, uh, with for uh, when i got into uh, cinema i think with sita ramam it is uh, being justified for me personally on a personal level because this is the kind of music that i wanted to portray to my uh, this thing my this thing in uh, cinemas for into cinemas Wow. So, um, according to your recent interviews, which I have gone through a few of them, you were mentioning especially like there was no plastic, there was no synthetic instrument which you have used. It's a pure organic based music. Can you please define like what is organic and uh, how important is that to the current generation? Uh, in the last uh, 15 years of uh, cinema music in general, not just Telugu, in, in Indian cinema music, one trend that we've uh, started seeing is the um, influence of overtly billboard music overtly westernized uh, music into the um, uh, music culture of uh, indian cinema i'm not saying it's wrong 
there are certain cinemas there are certain movies that uh, will have to make use of that but uh, there, there there has become one more more uh, uh, more and more usage of this uh, synth, synths and uh, a lot of electronic music is has started ruling it i'm not saying it's wrong but it's it's needed till a certain point so what i have done with uh, sitaraman when i say organic i have not even used one single electronic sound in this so whatever you hear in the album is everything has been done live and uh, if i am going to use percussions then i i actually for uh, most part of the album i have recorded uh, uh, patrick gorse he is a um, uh, drums and a percussion player a live percussion rhythm player from california so he is a french person and uh, all this uh, i have worked with a lot of world musicians and gotten th- the only uh, earthy sounds and uh, a lot of live music into it so you won't hear at any point any kind of a synthesized sound or any kind of uh, an electronic sound or um, you you'll be able to that is the reason that uh, i feel that uh, the album will last longer the shelf life of the songs are a little longer than your conventional albums that's true because nowadays wherever we get to his like let's listen the music it's more of a like a remix or dinj dinj it's kind of you know rock band jazz all these kinds of new westernized music has come into the movie industry and suddenly you just did something else which is like like, like people can't even expect that oh the olden days music which we used to listen in 50 60 70s era which have come back and still did the same kind of magic which it did ages ago yes so you have proven a theory called like old is gold old is gold always 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 old is gold because uh, the amount of research work also that i've done for the singing uh, and the melodies specifically the melodies apart from the usage of singers the melody that the singer is going to sing is going to be very very important ma'am for uh, any album or any song to become a hit the tune is very very important it has to be based out of for an indian film it is always better to go for an indian rag rather than a western rag so that, that you know what even though like we are live, some people live in us uk worldwide still uh, they feel like fir bhi dil hai hindustani what we eat we still end up having the rajma chawal ya dal chawal which Correct. cooked from mama's hand so Correct. that explains even the music of yours says the same that no matter what we are still connected to the roots correct correct see for for example when i was traveling uh, to hyderabad and uh, when i was traveling to bombay whenever i found some time i would fall back on uh, curd rice or dal chawal it, <laughs> it, it goes without saying because that is comfort food so our system our body is tuned to this kind of food this kind of music because it's it's been there for ages no ma'am so it always makes sense to go for that it's like pet bhi bharega man bhi bharega correct <laughs> now um coming to your hairstyle and coming to your uh, unique look i have seen you different pictures and uh, with a small young boy now suddenly you are into a different avatar why you chose this kind of a special unique look what is the reason for that actually the reason there's no specific reason i wouldn't have gone for any kind this kind of a look but uh, generally um if i don't have the beard i'll look like a very 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 small boy man so it, it only really makes sense that i have a little bit of this and little bit of this i'll look a little okay thoda okay he's he might be a serious person kind of a an aura i give when i have all this so i am just having that nahi to bahut bahut aaram se that and you look success you look at it success uh, kind of now people won't forget me no <laughs> <laughs> never ever they forget you no matter what even after decades they will see oh that person who has given the music to sita ramu thank you so, so much. <laughs> yes uh, before we start the sense of music you have is different like people believe different musicians play different way but you have a unique way of you always touch to the roots the classical touch of a uh, main so i heard that you learned that kind of you know that special quality even though you didn't learn from a proper guru music guru you gained that uh, kind of sense since the age of 2 uh, where you picked up your shankar mama's banjo and you 
big dirt under the bed and you used to play that. So yes, can you please tell me what made you do that? So actually, um, I was very small back then and uh, my uncle Shankar Mama, he used to uh, play a, a banjo. It is uh, not your regular banjo, it's an Indian banjo, it's, it's called a Bulbul Tara. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Correct. So uh, it uses a, a pick like a guitar, like you use that triangle thing. No? So it you, makes use of that, you, you strum it on one side and you can play uh, with uh, uh, the keys. So it, it was very unique and it was a very unique instrument that I first saw in my life. The first time I'm seeing any instrument and I got very intrigued by that. So whenever he used to go to office, uh, I'll, uh, he'll keep it under the Almira. Uh, so I'll pull it out and I'll take it out and I'll open the box and I'll just start strumming and I'll play some Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or Happy Birthday to You. I'll, I'll start with that. <laughs> so my mom saw that actually and uh, she was quite interested. She told my dad. And, uh, and uh, my dad was into uh, marine engineering and he was in the merchant navy. So in, I think in 1991 or something, he bought me a, a, a small keyboard and that's where I started. I used to play in uh, this Ayappa Pujai and uh, all the Tamil Sangam uh, bhajans and all that during that time. And slowly, uh, when we shifted to India, we saw, I, uh, I mean, when, when we shifted to Chennai, uh, I started giving shows in uh, all these uh, Rotary clubs and all that. Okay, so we want to play a small AV, not AV, it's an audio bite from someone who is very special to you, very close to you. And uh, I want to play that. Before that, whoever is listening to the show, please do, if anybody wants, to speak to this magical musician, Vishal Chandrasekhar Garu. You can call the WhatsApp number 970 1500. Sorry, See, I'm so excited. And you can call to the radio, Skype, Telugu, and RA radio. Please do call, but uh, I'm taking the calls after uh, 20 minutes because then we will take actual calls from the listeners. Okay. So please play the special audio bite from the special person of Vishal Garu. Hi Vishal, aren't you surprised to hear my voice? I know, it's a wonderful <laughs> moment for me <laughs> to address you over this and uh, welcome to the show. Nicely answer all the queries and share your experiences. Of course, about the lovely, lovely movie Sita Ramam and its songs and I'm so thankful to Valli for this opportunity and of course I'm very proud of you Bita. She said Karna, okay? He had a uh, keen sense of listening. As a baby, when I used to put him in the tuli, we call it tuli, which is made uh, with the sari, he used to sleep in that as an infant. So, I used to sing one Kirtana and Dujavanti, Cheta Shri Balakrishnam Bhajare, and uh, he would listen to the full song. If anywhere I happen to stop, due to some work or the other, where he would start shaking his legs, demanding he continue the song, and then listening to that, he would sleep. He had a very keen sense of listening right from his infancy. At the age of seven or so, his father bought him a small Casio. And he was so happy to have it. He would keenly listen to all the functions on the of the buttons on the Casio or keyboard and would apply it for effects. After some time, he told his father, who's a, who was a marine engineer, Daddy, next time when you come, you bring a bigger keyboard because there are more sounds on the left side also. There are more sounds on the right side also. See that they have enough of the uh, okay, keys. His father understood that and then he got him a nice big uh, 
keyboard on which he played almost up to school final he played on that of course in school uh, assembly also he was the was uh, the very important person in the morning assembly he would play the keyboard every day and then the school which had a harmonium also bought a keyboard for him to perform school had its own keyboard for the first time when he started playing it one thing i must tell you after composing he will call me and he will ask me to listen to that how is this he will ask i'll just give my true opinion and most of the time it used to be superb and that one remark would mean so much to him he always uh, uh, welcomed these comments of course he will not share it with too many people and moreover if he is working on a film or anything he will just see that we don't happen to see or listen to any of those scenes or any of those uh, background uh, um, songs he will ask you ma let me finish it please and i will come out of the room the studio he always uh, uh, of course one more thing i must say he works at night so peacefully throughout night he will be working and in the morning only he'll go to sleep he'll sleep for a four or four year four hours uh, five hours like that sometimes but rarely he gets that much of a sleep even i am a bit worried about that but let it be a small jingle or a song he will work with its full details you'll see that everything it should be a masterpiece that's what his idea about any piece of music kaali kilo karpu puli manjal thoolada kaali kilo karpu puli manjal thoolana and ask him whether he recognizes this <laughs> that was a very famous uh, tv ad for uh, super singer i think from vijay tv super singer illa vera enna kabagal one advertisement on vijay tv and then he did many jingles like this as if whether he remember this askar kaal kilo karpu puli manjal thoolada kaal kilo karpu puli manjal thoolana that's all bye ayyo that's all <laughs> glad she's she said all these things ma because it means a lot to me <laughs> yes generally mums won't actually praise the sun and all on face isn't it yeah yeah i know i know that i know that really uh, uh, whatever music whatever things i do ghar ghar ke ma if jaake aadha kilo tel leke aa jaa rahe that will be <laughs> yeah that's really sweet so uh, i heard that you are the astana vidwamsa for the rotary club oh. <laughs> you used to yes. play keyboard on that yes 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 so when i was uh, around 12 13 or something i uh, vaguely remember i don't remember how old i was but uh, i used to play like uh, one hour show one one and a half hour shows we would uh, promise but then it will keep going on for like two and a half three hours and all <laughs> because i also used to enjoy and uh, entertain the crowd because uh, i i will prepare a list of songs and after that uh, after completing that list of songs they they start giving um, from the audience side they start asking for songs so i used mm-hmm. to play songs also 
So used to play a lot like Avala Ken Alai Mogam. Yes. <laughs> I used to love that song. <laughs> okay. So um on the personal request, you know the Sita Ramam we have it. Can you play that for us, please? Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a you just touch the souls of each and every individual you were <laughs> and you didn't pounded it to just one language you have delivered the same amount of magic in all the languages actually for that the credit goes to the lyricist specifically because uh, i told them uh, uh, one thing this there is a certain soul in the um, writing of the film in the, in the movie language itself there it's a very soulful film we have to maintain the same amount of soul in different lyrics in different languages without compromising on the beauty of the language mm. so uh, in malayalam the lyrics will be different the sense of the lyrics will be the same for uh, for example in intandam in malayalam uh, it will be aromal and uh, the sense of the language of the the song specifically what the hero is expre- expressing the beauty of the heroine that uh, the ram is expressing the beauty of sita here same ram is expressing the beauty of sita in a different way uh, in which which is correct for malayalam audience so like that we wrote it so that is actually so many people are trying to reach out this interview to talk to you so <laughs> i will open up the calls now um, okay. you have to bear with us because there are many people who wanted to have a word with you so Happy. That, i will continue my questions with you Um, okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, before somebody added to the call, I will ask you one more question to you. Why you are so obsessed with um, baby milk cakes? <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, I love that sweet man because uh, it it is in between pal uh, um, pawa and uh, milk. any kind of a milk sweet i am i like it a lot but and i love chocolate also and this is the right bang in between both <laughs> i definitely know this is a irrelevant question which is not related to the interview but this is told by someone to me to make sure i ask you okay <laughs> so yeah somebody wanted to talk to you we just open the line to them please welcome uh, welcome to telugu nara radio Hi, uh, my name is uh, Sajjan. I'm calling from California. Hi, ma'am. Hi, Chandra Shekhar ji. How are you? Good, 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 ma'am. How are you? Uh, we are not in this world <laughs> <laughs> because I, my question was about uh, just now. What are the uh, like a background score of music you have played? My question is regarding that only, but uh, even I now I forgot what to ask you after listening to your music in life. <laughs> Literally, in that uh, particular uh, place, like in that particular situation, when the kids are singing, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Once the music, like uh, once the music was out, uh, we like started my kids and our family. We started listening to your music. But the thing, every song after listening, every song we used to feel like we are in that particular situation. <laughs> But after listening to this particular music and the kids singing, oh my God, we are out of the world completely. And we used to get goes on say each and every time, even now also. Thank you so much, ma'am. Really means a lot. <laughs> no, really? really, we are no uh, like particular Sita Rama music, right? So it it has taken us to all the old melodies. Yes, yes, yes. Whenever some someone says those words, I I feel really happy, ma'am, because we made a conscious effort to stick to some old, uh, good quality music used to come in those days. We wanted to stick to that. Really, really. 
we are like uh, once we close our eyes and just only listen to music we feel like we are listening to the old like uh, like somewhere around 90s uh, 70s or 60s or 80s like that music and really uh, you made our day today thank you so much thank you so much. thank you sri ji for uh, bringing chandrashekhar ji today thank you so much sajin thank you wish you all the very best sir uh, thank you so much ma'am thank you have a great day thank you so sir um coming to this the lots of efforts oh somebody somebody else also joined i think they want to have uh, welcome to telvanare radio we are doing an interview with uh, the magical sita rama music director vishal sir ji please have a word hello 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 sir good evening good evening ma'am talk to me sir ha hello sir ha hello again I am Sajinya from Vishakhapatnam. Okay, nice, nice talking to you, ma'am. Nice to see you. We are very happy that we got opportunity to talk with you. My pleasure, ma'am. <laughs> Thanks to Telugu <laughs> Nara Radio for making this happen. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, one of my cousin, Balaji Gopinath, he used to tell me about you all the time. How much hard work you will do and all. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling uh, regarding the success of Sita Rama? I am feeling very very happy, ma'am, because uh, this is uh, something that I've always wanted. That uh, some good quality tunes and good quality melodies should come into this uh, industry after, uh, uh, and people should appreciate it. I'm I'm feeling very happy when when everyone is saying that uh, they are uh, hooked on to the songs because uh, uh, scoring for something like this has been my all-time dream. For almost since when I started, so I'm really happy. These songs are uh, like really addict. Everyone addicted to these songs. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Kanunna Kalyanam e Manadi, <laughs> and uh, that is written by the only legendary Srivinala Sita Ram Sastri Garu. So, how can you share your experience uh, working with him, sir? So, when we were uh, doing this song, um, when uh, when Hanu Garu told me that uh, we require a conversational melody, so we took cues from uh, there was this there is this old uh, Tamil song for which uh, uh, MSV sir has uh, done the music. It is. Uh, it goes like. Sipir kudu mutu mere kudu tarand pa kanira melody rasati. That's how it starts. Yes, yes. So I remember this. This Kanuna Kalyanam. Uh, that conversational sense was taken from uh, the, that song. And uh, in this, the bride and the groom they discuss about a prospective wedding that is going to happen in their life. They are going to get married. But this wedding is not a huge wedding. It, not many people are there in the wedding because, as we all know, Ram is an orphan soldier and uh, Sita Mahalakshmi has left everything, her world, and Ram does not have a world because he is orphan. Sita Mahalakshmi has already left her world, so these two are the people who are going to get uh, who are going to get uh, married and they are going to start their own world. So it is a song about two hearts meeting and uh, a song which has a lot of celebration but internally. So that was the brief. So and uh, when uh, when I uh, when uh, I composed the melody, this uh, song is done on a ragam called Gauri Manohari. In a lot of interviews, I I misspelled the ragam actually. I I thought that was Gauri Manohari. So it's, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know Carnatic music properly, but I I know I've done the research of uh, the movement of the notes and everything. So the actually it's in Gauri Manohari and. Uh, When I uh, presented that melody to Sri Venala Garu, he was like, uh, he heard it and uh, he he always used to call me Vishal Bhai, Vishal Bhai, बोलके. <laughs> so uh, uh, we had he actually uh, came to the composing session, the writing session, and uh, we sat together and uh, we start uh, started talking. And when we started talking, we almost were talking for almost three and a half hours. and we were not discussing just about the song we were discussing about a lot of things like alankarams in writing uh, figure of speech when it comes to um, poetry 
and how uh, robert frost is different from uh, mm, some other uh, general uh, poets so these things and the amount of knowledge that he imparted he always used to ask me like for example uh, when we did did that line ta na na i'll just play it for you so uh, when i sang it for him ta na 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 so he is like ta na 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 that's a question no he asked me <laughs> i was like yes sir that's a ta na 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 ta na 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 it flows down that's the answer so he understood uh, that i i was requiring something like that a uh, male a uh, uh, female asking a question male answering and, and i specifically started that song with a female voice because uh, i wanted uh, generally when we have this uh, song coming in we always have the hero singing first but this comes from the heroine's point of view because she is the one who's left everything and come for the hero okay so this explains the love between two people how they met like what they are going through so i'll play an audio about you just go through it okay Let's play the audio, please. Hi, this is Sindhuri here. Um, so I was uh, asked to speak a few words about Vishal and uh, and uh, of course also about Sita Ramam. So very happy to be a part of your show, uh, Shivali, and uh, uh, just to say a few words. Sita Ramam has actually been a lifetime experience actually for for both of us. Uh, Vishal's music uh, per se, you know, it's always been very organic. Uh, we met about uh, 15 years ago uh, while we were in uh, college, and uh, and from then on, uh, music has only you know brought us together. And uh, over the years, we've both of us have started working together and we've explored so much in music and uh, we are still exploring and vishal is really well versed with uh, western classical and and a lot of other genres like uh, retro rock pop jazz and all of that whereas uh, if you take me i'm i'm well versed in carnatic classical uh classical music and all of that but the the beautiful quality in him i should say is that over the years he's taken so much so much of effort to understand classical music and to actually from jiljanjak to sita ramam it has been a wonderful journey and uh, <clears throat> music is music is what brought us together and uh, and i'm so glad that uh, you know <clears throat> sita ramam happened because the world got to know what a what a beautiful uh, composer what a beautiful mu- what beautiful music that he's he's composed be it osts be it songs be it everything so the world now knows who vishal chandra shekhar is which which uh, you know i have personally been waiting for because he is a big talent and uh, i'm very, very very happy for him and uh, i hope he you know he just reaches many many heights in and just rules the world with his music <laughs> and yeah that's all for it so have a great uh, musical journey and i know i i've kept it a little formal because it's it's going to be out uh on the platforms and everything so so yeah <laughs> thank you <laughs> uh, i have no words i've never heard her talk like this <laughs> so i said i was waiting to do take your interview because i kept myself so many things ready coming for you thank you so much really it means a lot <laughs> so i heard can you please tell me about that mountain road um, incident Oh, is she told you about all that? <laughs> so okay, I'll tell you. Uh, so I was, uh, we both were preparing for uh, IELTS examinations coming out of the British Council Library, and uh, uh, 
uh, we we took a U turn out of uh, in front of Spencer's Plaza, and I have this habit of singing when I'm uh, riding the bike. Mm-hmm. So what happened? Uh, and I used to because she used to sing harmonies when I sing the mains. She'll she'll be sitting and uh, behind and sing the harmonies for the same tune. So I was like, I was holding uh, the the handle of the bike, and I I was like, Uber, Uber, and I started looking at her, and she was also singing in uh, in harmony, and uh, suddenly, <laughs> hey, 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 like that, she's screaming. What happened is, we I didn't see one statue of Jawaharlal Nehru standing like this, <laughs> and it was bulging out. The median was bulging out. Both of us fell on the road, <laughs> and I'm. And I've stood. I am. Nothing happened. One small scratches only. And I was just uh, flat out on the road, and I was just shocked that he fell down. And she was like, "Endre, endre." She started scolding me. <laughs> Both of us went to one hospital nearby, and we really got scared. <laughs> but she- yeah. See, the only reason I'm asking all this is everybody will ask about your movie, Sita Ramam Success. I want to bring out something different to you to make you feel, you know. <laughs> so somebody else also joined to say hello to you. Welcome to Nonstop Hangamas interview. Hello. Uh, please un- unmute yourself and talk. Mm-hmm. I think they are waiting because Hello? Of... Hello? Hello? Uh, I can say it, no? Yes. Hi, hi, hi. Hello? Hi, uh, can you hear me? Hello? Hi. Hello, ma'am, we can hear you. Hi, ah, yes, ma'am. Madam, uh, Vishal can you say that neighbor was Yuma Sanjay's mother. I'm very happy to see that we are enjoying uh, YouTube TV. Uh, well, you know, suddenly you are very familiar. You are under the Nigumba. If I am going to get a major movie, I am going to get a very good movie. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Ma'am, uh, 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 you are not clear. Wait, wait, wait. I'll increase hello? the volume. Ma'am, I can. Uh, can you hear me? Ah, hello. Ah, ma'am. Uh, can you hear me now? Am I clear? Ah, yes, sir. Ah, yes. Sir. Oh, sorry, no, sorry, sir. Hindi, Hindi, Hindi. You know, for your travel, for your Indian travel, you are from the South Africa. As a neighbor, Hindi. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ah, Adil, ma'am, 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 ma'am. தொடர்ந்து <laughs> <laughs> definitely ma'am definitely na hard work panna ma'am enoda blessing ellaroda blessing ko thank you ma'am thank you so much thank you okay sir okay thank you ma'am thank you thank you so much for calling to the show thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you okay next uh, please uh, unmute yourself and talk to the talk to vishal garu okay so sir yeah that is the only reason i am taking you to all different directions not just towards <laughs> sita rama hope you understand that Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, we are uh, talking about uh, Sirvenela Garu. So you had a very good time, I think. This is this will be the last song which has come out of his. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's re- really sad that we don't have him amongst us now. But uh, whatever he told me, the biggest thing that is uh, that I'll always take always with me forever is one thing. uh vishal bhai you are uh, very very strong with not just uh, 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 grammar but you are strong with the sounding of the words also which i am very very happy a lot uh, uh, it's it's a very very important thing for a music director this is he this is these these are the exact words he told i will always take this with me absolutely and 
and you worked with hanu sir and the krishna kant sir you three yes. is like you know triplets kind of uh, you know yes. journey yes. which you share for yes. the movies padi padi lechana manasu and uh, krishna gandhi veera prema kala and Correct. this is sita ram correct so how is your journey with uh, hanu sir hanu sir has become almost like a family member now man because uh, uh, there was a, I'll, i'll tell you a very interesting incident not many people know about this yeah please one time he became really sick because of some food poisoning or something mm. and we had a lot of work to be done so he had come here to chennai hanu sir and uh, during the composing session this was for padi padi leche manasu and uh, during that time we were uh, composing uh, kallu lal song mm. so he had come for 3 days to chennai initially he had come for only one day that one day became three days because of this food poisoning thing pap <laughs> na so what happened he was like eh hey, merko we talk in hindi only me and hanu sir so eh hey, merko thoda i'm not feeling very well and feeling a little sick main jaake thoda main wahan pe tere room mein socha hu ke ha us pe ye sir jaake ke i showed him uh, he was sleeping in my bedroom and uh, he didn't wake up for quite some time when i went and uh, wanted to wake him up he was running fever and uh, are I, i feel a little feverish uh, i don't know what to do now then uh, we we were like okay would you like to have some rasam sadam hot rasam sadam or something we we started asking him all that he was like no 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 let's let's i need to finish the song uh, okay he got up and sat there for some time then i am playing kallu la mente is kuch pilla ga vishal i'm still feeling feverish man uh, uh, i'll just go again and sleep <laughs> this kept happening for 3 days and on the second day itself i told him sir something is wrong let us take you to the hospital so we uh, took him to the hospital and uh, there he, they are putting he he himself was like no no i want to go to the hospital bolke he went there and uh, straight away walked into the emergency ward and asked them to put drips oh. and uh, the doctors like flabbergasted he is like are isko kya ye kon hai kya how how can he just a random person walk into the hospital and just put drips and ask them to put drips and everything and he after uh, getting drips and everything was very fine and uh, he's his ka heart mein sab that that uh, thing is there no when they put he walked out of all the hospital with all that in hand and uh, the attender is running behind him ruki ruki kahan bhag rahe hain bol ke the attender the, in, the, does does the patient have any attender he asked i'm like uh, yeah yeah i'm the attender mai piche mai late aaya so uh, i sir what is this sir he is not uh, wanting to get admitted in the hospital we we'll have to get get one sign from him saying uh, patients non uh, non cooperation all all because of the patient not cooperating we are uh, discharging the patient <laughs> then immediately he was actually fine after that after taking drips and all uh, like ah, now i am feeling much better mm-hmm. that is the kind of you know, why i am saying is that is the kind of attitude he has and anything short of you know a uh, a good song is is like doing injustice to a person like that <laughs> i know yeah so because you two you three technically make wonders and magic everywhere yes yes and kk sir is another gem of a person because he is like uh, he is always up to the task and uh, when when uh, i heard nuvante nanavu nenante nenuvu the word play <laughs> yes the the word play in the in the writing it's so beautiful and here in uh, intandam um andam ninta chestund udigame those lines when i asked him what it means mm-hmm. that's when i understood the importance of how well he is crafted those lines even we were so amazed to see that particular line udigam cheyadam means it's like slavery correct yeah so that is how beautifully he articulated that correct into a line because see slavery is um, when you when you consider it slavery would be definitely considered a negative word but when andam when beauty is is a slave to you mm-hmm. it it becomes the whole the meaning takes a different dimension true true uh, can you um, keyboard play for us that can you please play that in tandem for us sir <laughs> Thank you. 
even after the chorus, I must say the life of the song is the chorus. Any song you take, like Kanuna Kalyanam, Intendam, yes. even the background, when the sad song was there, yes. even the chorus for that. I must say the chorus is the main complete yes. um, key of your music. What is the reason for you to be so specific about the chorus? Chorus is something that will always stick to you, ma'am. And uh, when the chorus, when any in any song structure, the chorus comes in the middle portion of the song. Middle means after a few minutes after the song has started, and it leads you on to the next part of the song. So it is something that is bang in the middle. When you sing that, you will hear the front and the back of the song because it helps in facilitating you to remember the entire song. Yeah. So I try to keep it as strong as possible. So that you used as a main ingredient to your yes uh, yes and also uh, when when the melodic uh, uh, structure of the chorus is very very uh, beautiful and if you if you have done justice to uh, it in a good way if you can use it in the background score also yeah when I heard the Kanuna Kalyanam I am not sure which song it reminds me of the Bombay Kannanule song correct the background of the Kannanule correct. That was that was the reference that Hanu sir had actually given me. Take me to Bombay. Take me to Bombay. <laughs> he, he said that. He actually said that. When uh, the Kannala ne unad kanne ne trod kaan ville that that bit that uh, is the source of inspiration for Kannapur. I just I just won a argument with one of my very close friend. I was arguing with her saying that this is with the reference of Kannanule. She's like, you mix all the songs what you like. <laughs> said, no, no, somewhere it rings the bells of the song Kannanule when I hear this song. Oh, wow. Chala, my reference, you gave one major doubt. I won the bet. <laughs> okay. So, um, after this um, KK sir uh, journey, what is like you have set a mark now? It's like people look at you in a different way now. Till now, Vishal sir is different. After it's like a before Sita Ramam, after Sita Ramam kind yeah. of recognition yeah. you got. Yeah. So the big name comes with a big responsibility, as you know. Yes. yes. So the next steps will be like how careful you're gonna be like. What kind of projects you're going to choose? Like how you're going to change? I will. Uh, I'm looking at signing up for uh, big films, ma'am. And when I say big films, I want content also in that it has the it has the story has to be good. It actually does not matter whether the uh, the film has two songs or three songs or even fifteen songs. It really does not matter because if it has two or three songs, then I have to work harder. To uh, make sure that the, those songs are as important for the film as after the film releases, for that I have to work really hard. So I'm looking at uh, signing up bigger projects which are pan-Indian in nature, because uh, I feel that uh, my music is global and it touches a lot of people, not just in India, outside India, and in general it has a very very uh, so it is very soulful in nature because that comes naturally to me. Uh, being a self learner, how could you achieve? Like, how can you even feel the real music? Because somebody uh, should have a guru actually to take them to a right direction to show the light to them. I, from your mom, auntie, I got to know that you just learned on your own. And uh, she mentioned one specific incident. One day she came to Varanda and she was listening, somebody playing a flute. Okay. And she realized that uh, somebody is playing flute so beautifully. She Later, she you came and told her that, Mama, it's me, not anybody else. <laughs> and she asked you, how did you get to make out like from where the sa is coming, where the re or these things are coming from? And you said, you, I just get, get it once I play. So do you think it's your you know, uh, luck to have all this or this birth talent? Oh, I really, I really, honestly, I really don't know what to call it, ma'am, because uh, it is something, I just become very, very inquisitive and start, uh, uh, you know, searching for something in any musical instrument. Likewise, I went and learnt sitar also for uh, a few months. And um, 
I found it from that instrument also very very intriguing. It is something anything that produces sound. No, for example, the the other day uh, I recorded. Uh, you have those tin cans, no, in which they bring oil and ghee and all that. Oh yes. I, I upturned that one of those uh, tin cans which was empty. I upturned it, cleaned it, and uh, upturned it and started playing some rhythms on it, and we recorded some uh, <laughs> drum beats on that also. So anything that produces sound is like. it's something very very intriguing to me wow so you can make out music out of anything you can anyone can we all have it in us so you should have the right sense of uh, you know understanding how it goes and all and another doubt i have similar to kananule and padi padi lechana vaisu there is a song coming i'm not sure you know in tam tam na 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 correct correct similar music ha is in padipadi lechana vayas man correct 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 so basically um uh, it is the uh, i am very happy when people say that it is very similar to that because in that i have used jog ragam here also i have used jog ragam hmm the ragam is same hmm but what my uh, composing structure has not changed because i have used as it starts with a whistle it comes to a pallavi that also starts with uh, some kind of a whistle and uh, you are talking about rhythm therapy tan 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 here what i've done is so i've used the same jo- see actually hanu sir really loves that ragam and he's like uh, i told him sir usi ke jaise lag raha hai sir isko badalte hain sir bahut nahi yaar acha lag raha hai ye film ke liye yahi chahiye isi ko rakhte hain then no, no, it's so quite yeah. catchy though yeah yeah it's a different dimension to the the same raga that is what we tried so i keenly that explains that i heard your songs in in depth <laughs> you you've heard everything and you you've asked you you've done uh, so you've done so much of research about my uh, works and my music ma'am i'm really happy about it because there's uh, uh, generally when i when i um, am asked to do interviews and everything uh, they generally it will it will always be uh, centric around uh, you know how you feel and what is the how do you see the success and very very but i'm really happy that the kind of questions you are asking it's it's uh, taking me down memory lane <laughs> yeah because um, we can't ask this anywhere else so it's like when you are with me because otherwise i think why he just um, put the same kind of music what is the reason for that uh, do they think like it's a similar uh, kind of music which he is delivering again and again is that impacts to him so kind of questions which will come okay. so then uh, now whenever i have seen recent interview of your candid interview with vishal sir i 13 minutes yes. lengthy interview yes. under that i have seen few people have written that you are upcoming ilai raja those are very very big words actually i have to live up to to those words because whenever someone says something like that it really really frightens me because uh, just now i have started exploring ragams and i realize realize that till till uh, before sita ramam i was swim, swimming in a 5 feet pool which is 50 meters cross 50 meters in length but now when i uh, done a, a read about it and done some research about it and trying to understand ragams i just realized that it is not easy and it is a very very big ocean which is so deep so it's it's very and uh, persons we are we have looked up to like raja sir a r rahman these people are like gods to me and it is it is really it really scares me but i'll try to live up to that expectation absolutely you do because you just uh, owned your own kind of music but i'm sure you that adds you a big responsibility of uh, digging the more and more knowledge learning about it yes you have to swim in the ocean of the music to deliver the best out yes very true because uh, every time after one film i have to unlearn certain things and relearn certain things that is a process that i always go through somebody else also joined the call to greet and meet you uh, let's say um, welcome to telugu nari radio hi hi this is pavan kumar hi pavan hello 
Hi, Pavan. Yeah, hi, sir. How are you? Good, sir. Good, sir. I'm calling from Hyderabad. I don't oh. know whether you know Telugu or not. I don't know whether you know Telugu or not. Uh, yes. manage but uh, relevant to the languages and you have uh, crossed to the borders of uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, sir. And you have <laughs> rocked with your uh, music in Sita Ramam. And you, especially sir. I would like to uh, <clears throat> give you the applause, particularly in uh, re-recording, RR. Thank you so much. It was Thank fantastic, you. fabulous, and with some melodious music. After Gita Jali, Madhiratnam says Gita Jali, I could feel the same feel after a long, long, long years back. Those are big, very big words, sir. I'll, I'll live up to that. Yeah, it resembles a Gita Jali movie, sir. Ilaira just a Gita Jali. At the end, it's a mark, it's a benchmark. So, Sita Ramam also. The same way, yeah, it has given a benchmark. Thank you, thank you, sir. And uh, any particular reason behind uh, Anuraga Puri sir's uh, uh, movies? Dalva uh, uh, particular game is shared on key and any particularities? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually, uh, he gives me a lot of freedom, sir. When, he, when, yeah, when yeah. I express myself, he will listen. Uh, and uh, he will try to understand uh, what I'm saying. So that kind of freedom, when I am getting it, it really matters a lot. And I'll always, you know, work 200% uh, towards that. So he sits with you in music settings and in uh, re-recording? All he, he, he will not sit in the re-recording session. Uh, he, he will come and uh, watch it and then go. But music sessions, he will always be... He, when he is writing the script at that time itself, he called me for uh, composing. Yes, great, sir. Great, great, great. And it is marvelous, sir. I have seen in theatre as well. It is already streaming. And one thing I would like to say, sir, as a film critic, I am a film critic. Hmm. So, hmm. it is already streaming in Amazon. But yeah. in some in few theatres also, they are getting full. Oh, no, sir. Oh, no. That is something also, very, very that is, People want to see it in a big screen. Correct, correct, correct. Because yeah, uh, it works towards the mix also. The mixing and uh, the Dolby DTS and Atmos has been done with a lot of care. And uh, it is my team of uh, sound engineers, Jay Ganesh and Rahmatullah, who are part of the mixing process. They are also uh, part of my team. And uh, they, are the, they are the ones, they are the backbone giving that kind of sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish you all the best, sir. Keep Thank doing you. all the movies. To cross this uh, benchmark, uh, definitely you have to be more careful for the next movie to cross yes, the sir. background. Yes, yes, yes. Very true. Very well. <laughs> it's a wonderful talking to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Thanks Thank you for calling. Yeah, yeah. So, Vishal sir, so now as he said, you have to be very, very careful and choosy about the films. Yes. And coming to the freedom you are talking about, have you ever compromised on your work so far? Uh, any work that you do with respect to cinema, it comes with a lot of compromises. Okay. With respect to Sita Ramam and the tunes of Sita Ramam, I have not compromised anywhere. Anyway, or uh, for that matter, Padi Padi Leche Manasu, or for that matter, yeah, Krishna Gare Veera Prema Gata was my first uh, proper Telugu, out and out proper Telugu film, which, uh, uh, for which I had uh, sat through the entire process. In that, uh, there were a few compromises, because we had to uh, stick to a certain template for a few songs, and we had to do, uh, uh, there is a certain amount of dilution actually that comes in when, when that compromise happens. And uh, it is not in the long run, it is not good for the art. That is what I feel. Okay, once once or twice here or there when you are growing and uh, uh, you you know, uh, when you are giving, when you need an opportunity, compromise comes, com opportunity comes with compromise, always. But after delivering something that really works without compromise, now I really feel that that is necessary for any technician. 
and any artist okay uh, so coming to this like um, you you put it you in first you have a thought your own thought process of uh, like i have to play this song in such a way i have to tune in such a way yes so my question is like uh, you and the um, l- lyricist because yes. they come and explain you the meaning yes. of because you are not familiar with the language yes they do explain you with the meaning and then yes. you come up with a tune first or uh, you how do you actually start the process so in tamil i uh, am fine with uh, having the lyrics also first because when uh, in a few films vairamuthu garu has uh, written uh, he has written some uh, lyrics for uh, some songs so what he does is he will write the lyrics first and then he will uh, tell us to you put tune and bring so in telugu uh, i have not done that so far even with uh, sirivenella sitaram shastri garu he asked that you sing in tanana and send it to me for that i will write and uh, this process so far has always been tune first melody first and then the lyrics and with kk garu it, it 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 has always been like that i once tried uh, asking him sir you tell me the lyrics no i'll i'll do tune she was like nay 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 you do the tune because that will you uh, got the input from hanu because uh, whatever uh, melody that you are going to put will have to fit the situation first then we'll go for the tune i mean the, then we'll go for the lyrics so you work closely with kk garu with this in this project yes. yes let's see what he says about you so please play the kk garu voice తెలుగు ఎన్ఆర్ఐ రేడియో శ్రోతలందరికీ నమస్కారం ఈరోజు మన సంగీత దర్శకుడు విశాల్ చంద్రశేఖర్ గారితో తెలుగు కార్యక్రమంలో నాకు తనతో ఉన్న అనుబంధాన్ని పంచుకోవాలనుకుంటున్నాను విశాల్ చంద్రశేఖర్ ఇప్పటి వరకు హనుతో చేసిన మూడు చిత్రాలకు గాను మొదటి సినిమా కృష్ణగారి వీర ప్రేమ గాథ పడిపడి లేచే మనసు రెండింటిలో అన్ని పాటలు నేనే రాయడం జరిగింది సో మా ముగ్గురు మా ముగ్గురు కాంబినేషన్ లో వచ్చిన మూడో సినిమా ఈ సీతారామం సో ఈ సినిమాలో పాటలు అందరికీ చాలా చేరువయ్యాయి అనడంలో నిస్సందేహంగా చెప్పొచ్చు అనమాట ముఖ్యంగా నేను రాసిన ఐదు పాటల్లో ఇంతందం గాని ఓ ప్రేమ గాని ప్రపంచమంతా కోరే రాములే నువ్వా పేతో సార్ గాని క్లైమాక్స్ లో వచ్చేసాను ప్రతి ఒక్కటి కూడా జనాలందరికీ చాలా అంటే చాలా రోజుల తర్వాత ఒక హృదయమైన సంగీతంతో ఒక తేలిక పదాలతో పాటలు విన్నామని అందరు చెప్పడం చాలా సంతోషాన్ని కలిగించింది విశాలతో ఉన్న ఈ పదేళ్ల జర్నీలో అంతో మేము ముగ్గురం కలిసామంటే ఎంతసేపు పాట ఎలా కంపోజ్ చేయాలి ఎలాంటి పదాలు పడితే బాగుంటుంది అని చర్చ కోరుకున్నారు సో అతనికి సంగీతమే లోకం సో ఈ రికార్డింగ్ విషయంలో తన వైఫ్ అయిన సింధు కూడా చాలా హెల్ప్ చేసింది ఇలాగే విశాల్తో మరిన్ని మంచి చిత్రాలు చేయాలని మనస్ఫూర్తిగా కోరుకుంటున్నాను సో విశాల్ కి ఒక చక్కటి గుర్తింపు అయితే లభించింది సీతారామంతో అని చెప్పొచ్చు ఇంకా బిజీ అయ్యి తమిళ తెలుగు ఇంకా చాలా చిత్రాలు చేయాలని మనస్ఫూర్తిగా కోరుకుంటున్నాను సో తెలుగు ఎన్ఆర్ఐ ఇండియా శ్రోతలందరికీ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ <laughs> so nice <laughs> to hear him say something like this i know <laughs> that's glad you are enjoying it you are just feeling it yeah feeling the moment yes and it's so sweet of him he is the first person whom i reached out after confirming the interview with you then i i just bombarded him with messages saying that i need audio bites from so and so <laughs> he kindly agreed and he kindly you know cooperated uh, with me uh, i i seen him 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 grow so much right from uh, kvpg from uh, he wrote uh, with hanu sir in andala rakshasi also he worked such a beautiful he is the command of language that he has got command over the language and command over the sensibilities of uh, writing word play he is a very gifted lyricist yeah he wrote so beautifully so many songs in sita ramam as well no no correct in tandam has written by him only yes, yes. so yes. so then um, sita ramam is a big hit even in hindi now right yes yes we recently 
Mumbai from the success meet from Mumbai. Congratulations on that too. Thank because you. Because you just broke the barriers of the language yes. with one single album. Yes. Really happy about it. Yes, we are all very happy and equally I am feeling currently very proud to be connected with you directly. So do you think so you expand yourself to Bollywood also now? Can we expect in that way? I am looking forward to it. Okay. I want to play Hindi films because it's always been a dream. I grew up watching Hindi films and uh, I was a big fan of uh, all the Amol Palikar movies and uh, uh, all the comedy movies and I, was just, I just love Hindi movies a lot. So, because in my childhood, I've seen so many Hindi movies. So many. Okay, coming to Sita Ramam, we, we are just simply talking about only the album songs and all. But equally, the BJM has given the most impact to anyone, especially the intro scene. Yes. yes. When she lift her eyes and see that Noor Jahan is actually the Sita Mahalakshmi, the music has given the goosebumps to any audience in theater. So, how long it took for you to create that impact overall? That piece, uh, uh, when uh, I decided to compose that piece, uh, the theme of the main theme of uh, Sita Ram, it's in the Ragam Saramati, and uh, it, uh, this Ragam gives a particular emotion. It, it, the emotion of sacrifice, the emotion of bittersweet pain and love, and the emotion of uh, so many thoughts put together in one one ball. It's like entangled emotions. That is very beautifully explained in this ragam. The inspiration that uh, uh, I got for this theme was from uh, a kriti called Moksha Mungalada. That was uh, the starting point of this uh, piece. It is in the ragam Saramati. The other famous songs of uh, Ilai Raja sir that uh, you can hear is the Padariye, Padipariye, Padikudam Panariye. That song is also in the same ragam. So, um, this is, this uh, piece took me about uh, a couple of days to uh, finish and I have, uh, this is the first time I analyzed a ragam and uh, I have uh, taken utmost care in uh, presenting the ragam. I have also broken the ragam slightly in the second half where I have go gone for a small variation in the ragam. That, is, that has also worked beautifully for everyone. So, that was the process and uh, yes, while recording this piece, uh, I wanted a whole group of strings, 32 members, playing simultaneously the same notation. And since it is written, it is a Carnatic melody that I have composed, we could not write it in uh, Western notation. So, the best person for me at that time was Sinduri. She, oh. <laughs> she put she, lots of efforts in this album, right? She, uh, she puts uh, a lot of effort in all the work that I do, ma'am. Because uh, we are a team. I am just the face of the... Uh, music. So, uh, when I composed this piece and I gave it to the strings uh, person to write it, he said he, it's difficult to write it because uh, there is a certain um, that damakana that cannot be written in Western. So, we have Sinduri conducting the session by singing and they'll play. So, she'll sing one line and they'll play one line. Wow. Like that we did. So it's like joint effort. So every yes. successful man, there is a woman that is in there. Definitely, I will always go by that. <laughs> Very sweet. And there is one more successful woman behind your successful man, which is your mommy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's where it all started. <laughs> the two women are behind your success and equally proud. Yes, 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 yes. Very sweet. Uh, sir, can you please sing any of your favorite, old or new, anything of your, because I know you are a great singer too. I'm actually not that good in singing, but yeah, I'll, I'll sing a, uh, any song is fine. Any song, even Tamil song is also fine. Okay. I'll sing a Hindi song. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Deep, 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 
और जब दिन ढल जाए सांझ की दुल्हन चुराए चुपके से आए Beautiful, beautiful. One of my very own favorite songs. <laughs> Thank you so much. from his वॉचिंग फिल्म एंड सडनलीम्स वॉइस you will slightly get disconnected with ram's character okay so i made a very very conscious effort to stick to the uh, singers that are required for the song per se and That's equally perfect. your instruments also be highlighted at the background yes 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 because it's a periodical uh, film that's right true yeah now i got the perfect answer that's correct and uh, you have carefully chosen ch- charan sir also yes because the people are in the you know sorrow of uh, losing a great legend sridhi yes. garu so yes. when he said hey sita immediately we felt yes. sridhi garu is on screen we could hear correct. him straight away correct. correct so that is a great choice like who gave you that suggestion to choose him is it your own choice it was my own choice um i told um, when i told uh, uh, that sir ashwini that sir, that uh, we are going to use uh, i'm thinking he asked he always asked this question after a song is done after he hears that song he asked uh, sir uh, who are we going for who's the singer for this so mm-hmm. when i told him that uh, we'll record sp picture he was so happy he could immediately connect the dots and in his because he is he's done so many films 50 years of uh, film making from vaijanti movies he is so experienced in judging a particular song judging a script he is and whenever he's chumma sitting in the session after the session is over he'll just hum the tune and go on so he's like that a person who's very passionate with when it comes to music i told him that uh, we'll be using uh, spv charan and uh, said perfect perfect choice for the song even that uh, in them yes. that uh, it's going like yes oh sibigaru is back there's a small there's a small uh, uh, portion where uh, he'll also sing, he'll also sing ninne chuttumatti he he'll do that typical uh, that kind of a laugh so it's like giggling yes. in between the songs the feel yeah. of the music even we were thinking oh my god it just sounded like spv garu them are we are glad somebody is there correct so that's a, so you along with the director you both sit and decide who will be the perfect of the situation so no actually what, how it goes is um, me and sindhu we will sit and uh, decide who the singer is and uh, we'll have we'll come up with uh, five names okay uh, first uh, first name will be the names that we want fifth name will be the uh, names that we think will work in the trend okay so we'll always be happy if the director or the producer will select the first name itself because that is the one that will work for the film that is the one that will work for the character of the film that is the one that will work for the song also after that one one option when we keep giving it starts bringing the audience away from the song away 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 it will work commercially the song will work out good but how well it's connected with the film matters a lot but it connected even in hindi um, you have uh, given lot of care i think you yes. applied lot of care to by choosing that right people who yes. can sing the song yes actually all the singer choices uh, for hindi were made uh, only one song i chose one or two songs i chose all rest others were done by sindhu she does that 
meticulously yes when it comes to handling voices it's her domain when it uh, it comes to handling arrangements and composing the tune it's my my domain actually in in uh, sita ramam she is uh, composed one song which oh. not many people know yes sindhu has composed one song tarali mari rara ye duruga that one oh wow wow so it's like you are like sita ramam you both has delivered a sita ramam to the world yes <laughs> Oh, honestly god bless you both it's like ragam talam it's like in between going well yes. so that's really nice so so far since your childhood till now who is your favorite music director which you have like i want to be like kind of music actually uh, i've told this in a lot of interviews a lot of people look up to ar rahman and ilai raja they are of course my manasika guru types but uh, uh, rahman sir is of course my he was my principal in km music conservatory but uh, my actual inspiration is a person called ranjit barot oh, sorry sagin uh, he is a person called ranjit barot he is a uh, he is a drummer and uh, he uh, is the main uh, at one time he was the main programmer for rahman sir he did only two films in tamil one was vip the the older one the one with prabhudeva and simran yeah he did, prabhudeva yes he did music for that and a lot of people thought that it is ar rahman actually it is not ar rahman it is ranjit barot and uh, during that time why I, i really look up to him is because during that time rahman sir was giving like chart busters after chart busters he was in his peak at that time uh, ranjit barot he delivered this beautiful album called vip which made everyone rethink that wow rahman is changing his music in fact it was not rahman it was ranjit barot so that is one reason why i really like him and his and he has done music for so many i think documentaries and uh, so many docu features and he has been in his own own space he is not uh, you know given given into the pressure of uh, commercialization so because of your movie not just sita ramam so far whatever you have delivered is everything have a classical touch okay. every song i heard even padi padi lechan vai sa manas that is the source no ma that is the source like you have uh, changed the opinion like normally people believe in that oh you have to go with the flow just the zamana badal raha hai uske hisab se chalna chahiye no you were like no nothing has changed the roots are still strong okay. Okay. you have proven the point to the world saying that um bas oh yes that's why one thing we would like mesmerized and undoubtedly have given the tremendous wonderful music to us thank you so much ma'am so um i don't want to ask you which is your favorite song in the movie and any song so far you have done in in our language telugu can you play for us please and the people? yeah anything ready hi valli thank you so much for inviting me for the special show uh, as you know i am uh, vishal uh, chitappa and uh, i got a chance to taste his genius really when he was all of 12 years old that's it and we had gone to his chennai house and uh, then his dad who was a shippy had got him a brand new good keyboard from one of his uh, visits abroad and uh, then he says oh coin the coin uh, the as we say a uh, kid he will play some chhaiya chhaiya song he said fine we'll hear that and then he starts and man did it blow 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 us away then uh, mama his uh, mom uh, jayma ka said that he had configured it himself he uh, did what uh, instruments to select and that is when we saw i am a musician myself so we saw the genius at 12 years we knew something he is going to become something and yeah history uh, the rest is history as they say and uh, all the best wishes I and mean, we wish you really the best and uh, may you be the best guy in the world thank you bye oh. <laughs> i really didn't expect this anand is the you know he is he, he plays the mohan veena so well anand i know such a wonderful person and he said at the age of 12 only you started playing the chaya chaya song yes yes <laughs> so you have got to 
say to your mummy that I don't want to continue my degree. I just continue with my music. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when when I dropped this bomb at house uh, at my home, they were a little taken aback because uh, they all believe. See, because eleventh and twelfth, I really worked hard to uh, get into a good college. See, I was actually I didn't want to do engineering because I was okay. I was a good student and all that, but um, okay, both ho gaya padhai padhai. But interest nahi hai. Ek point ke baad you just want to follow your passion. So I told uh, at home that I really want to get into something related to sound, something probably a sound, become a sound engineer or become someone who deals with uh, this electronic uh, equipments when it comes to sound, all the synthesis and all that. So uh, I didn't openly say that I want to become a music director, but uh, they were a little taken aback when I uh, when they came to know that I want to get into music full time. But uh, my mom and dad fully supported me. in this mom is 90% dad is 100% yes <laughs> <laughs> mommy is always mommy they have always a backup plans to keep it ready if something happens <laughs> yes so i support your mom in that cuz i am a mom too so i know how it feels <laughs> <laughs> that's nice okay so please go ahead with the song what you like so far in your whole music albums i'll keep myself in <laughs> get to know that the song was also by you i was like oh okay okay it's like there is a kind of a, you know music has like different categories to my knowledge yeah. like there is a sad song session item song sessions inch yeah. inch session and a melody so i was uh, i was wondering like you created melody even in a sad song correct <laughs> <laughs> actually actually your analysis is bang on because uh, it was a tra- actually even for me padipadi uh, leche manasu was a very transitional phase wherein i was still trying to find myself somewhere in the industry in the telugu industry so that's uh, where the song happened and it gave me a new identity after that after but when the song released that uh, am i poya way when he says like if <laughs> the first am i poya way that's it people okay. will go oh god rocket actually, actually the the uh, original thing was uh, when i composed the song uh, i start i started off with yenge ponaro nakaga irpene keke sir just 
borrowed those lines. He was like, "Ye isi ko rakna hai. Ye best hai." So he just translated it into Telugu. So um, you have done Tamil quite a lot, I guess, comparatively yes. to Telugu. Yes. So far, keep the Sita Rama aside because that is a different one. There's no yes. comparison between. What's your best? You have like thought, oh, this is my best I have given so far to the industry. Uh, see, um, my album called Jil Jang Jack was a uh, really game-changing album for my career in Tamil because uh, it brought about a lot of different sounds, and uh, that kind of composing is totally different from Sita Rama. It is. it is on a completely crazy weird quirky level that uh, i had done for that film and that is another side to me also because uh, when it comes to uh, composing for movies um, i always try to stick to the framework of the film so for me personally jil jang jack has been my biggest uh, album in tamil so far can you sing for us because i heard a lot about from sindhuri as well about okay. the jil jang jack yes okay <laughs> Okay I'll I'll go for it Song in Tamil. Very good. Unfortunately, we don't connect with the Tamil, mm. and um, it's you don't you don't need to because it's completely weird lyrics only, absurd lyrics. Yeah, even the Casanova song which you have released, yes. uh, even the same. I read it in an interview oh. that uh, you have done a first time experiment in the whole world. You are the first one to bring out that kind of a new version. Yes, yes. Because uh, uh, Casanova, uh, the song itself is uh, old-time jazz, jazz kind of a song in nature. I'll just play you a few, few lines. Yeah. You'll understand. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. This is the moment of the song. Mm, Casanova. So it's a very jazz kind of a song. In mm. this, I had the, the challenge of bring, making it sound like a James Bond song, like a Skyfall song. So I had to bring in a lot of dubstep elements into it. So when we bring that uh, kind of a thing in it, uh, it's very difficult to because uh, jazz is somewhere here and dubstep is somewhere exactly 180 degrees opposite to to the genre. So both both the genres don't mix anywhere. even if it were something like a, you know a little bit of a pop element in jazz then it it connects somewhere something something very repetitive will always get connected to because they are similar genres but jazz is and dubstep is completely opposite no one has mixed uh, it so far so i was curious to see if uh, if we have any dubstep mix for some jazz song 
Nothing you so can find it on. Uh, nothing. I can find anything. <laughs> so I took it on myself. Okay, so let's do. You have something to find in YouTube if they get to do something related. Yes. Yes, because uh, that's a certain way to do something. Let's not do anything wrong. You know, when खा रहे हैं बोल के left hand में नहीं खा सकते हैं, right hand में खा सकते हैं. So I was very scared actually to do that experiment, but uh, it all worked in favor of the uh, film. So. So that was very supportive of it. Actually, he he understood what was going on in my head, and he let me be in my zone. He just told me that you you do whatever you feel is correct. Let's go so with that. The freedom gives you to do the magic around the world, isn't it? That freedom is is it's like water. When you're really thirsty, that freedom is like water. True, true. Which you got since childhood. Okay, let me connect to somebody else who wanted to talk to you. Uh, hi, hello, namaste. Hi, sir. Hi. I am Ajay Chansi. Uh, just wanna add few lines. So the thing is like uh, when uh, when your songs came into the market, when as soon as you released the songs. every song is like touch the souls of the singers and the musicians and the common man it was like so wonderful and we we were very happy and i would like to uh sing some uh, of your lines yeah yeah uh, like the most i love the most thing is like uh this one what we call everyone was like that's so hum for your songs now <laughs> the big words man big so words what are the songs we have to come in 2020 to 2022 everything was faded off and these were like uh, in years and in the heart it was like uh, uh, it's giving re sounds every time when you listen when you sing it 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 so beautiful songs you have given us we, we won't forget you at all Thank you so much. I'm really touched with your words. And Thank that, you so much. That too. After that, Ileraja, Ileraja sir's chorus, we have heard this chorus like. Beautiful. 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 It was like. Really means a lot, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, John Sigaru. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sri Vali Garu, for getting us uh, the, the Abhishek Garu. Yeah, thank you. I think we are. We think we are not uh, making him bored of this interview. He's enjoying so far. Along with not at all. Really having fun. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. So, Vishal sir, I have asked you many many questions. One more question is like, um. like i as i told you like some people keep some ideals here and there i want to be like him i want to be like him i want to when you come to the music director you do lyrics as well yes have you written any lyrics to any of the albums in in tamil yes i have written uh, in this movie called terry which is uh, directed by atli mm -hmm. and in that film i have written a hindi song oh hindi song okay yeah. yeah you are familiar with hindi as well yes so that was my first uh, foray into writing per se as a lyricist uh, it was like this was uh, composed by jv prakash and uh, I, i did the lyrics and arijit singh sang this song in, in wow. hindi uh, in a like hard like hard rock for many people <laughs> yes ye <laughs> as ये वादे जन्नत में खोए देखो हम तुम यहाँ प्यार यहाँ धरता कहा बहती धाराएं देखो करती बया खामोशियों ने 
खींची लकीरें जिनके अंदर मैं खोया अपना जहां जब भी अंधेरा फैला है गहरा ना 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 नहीं सुबह मानो ना मानो ना so this is what i wrote for ratri this was uh-huh. in, uh, so you slowly uh, becoming an all rounder <laughs> then uh, i wrote uh, one in um, this movie called simba in tamil simba oh yes <laughs> and so, in sitaram um, yeah. i like personally one song uh, which is a letter song hmm and that song is um, sung by like uh, yasin nizar yes yes he is like he has a magical voice too he's on he's, he's a he's on a different level he's on a different uh, he's a different kind of a singer he's uh, his range the the range that he can go up to is uh, while i personally recorded him he sang up to about 5 octaves which is crazy which is crazy because there is a certain threshold for every singer uh, where where above which you will start using your false voice okay. for him that th- threshold we won't be able to find where that is it's very difficult to find for him and he's been instrumental in bringing uh, personality to my songs so so much of personality is got into uh my songs like for example when we did hridayam uh, jaripe for padi padi leche for sharvanand's face for sharvanand's personality his voice will fit in perfectly when we did this letter song in um, uh, sita ramon for dulkar's face dulkar's first he he brings that very macho very manly kind of an appeal to the uh, song delicate, and, delicate along with the macho-ness, yes, there is a yes, soft, soft element is all soft correct correct especially um the kaveri pangalan that one my god he just <laughs> amazing a kaveri kind of a line what he sung Correct. i went back and searched who is the singer for this song <laughs> he's a he's a, a marvelous singer man he's a very gifted singer and uh, i had done a song uh, called neela aata hai that was the first time i recorded him again this this yasin was suggested to me through sindhu she listens to so much of uh, other singers and and because she is a singer herself she is always keen on listening and uh, seeing other singers and what techniques they are using while singing so at that time uh, when i was searching for a person to record at that time sindhu suggested me let's record yasin and uh, whenever you find time it's uh, do listen to that song it's called neela agaya from rangoon it's a beautiful song the amount of uh, dynamics that yasin has brought into that song it's like mind blowing and i that song was tailor made for him i heard him sing and then i composed the song for his voice for his singing wow so sometimes when you think of a movie if you have given a movie to uh, you know make the music for that you have think that okay this situation this tune this song should be specially good in that particular person only so yes kind of an instant feeling you get right yes 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 and so what i do is generally when i'm getting any kind of an idea or some kind of a thing out of the ran- randomly when i'm getting some idea when i'm not working for a film let's assume i'm driving and i get an idea i'll stop the bike i'll record it and i'll write the emotion what is there so uh, for example um uh i was riding my bike the other day and i suddenly got a hook mm. so this is synonymous of two couples who had a fight and then they trying to patch up so that's what i have written in the emo uh, thing the title of the recording piece Super so like that. Very nice. Someone else also added to the call. Let's welcome them. Hello, Andy. Welcome to Telugu Nadu Radio. Hello, Andy. Sivali Garu. This is Sri Vishnu Vishal Singh. Hi. Vishnu from Hyderabad. Yes, please. Manta Pat Vishal Garu Nar Matlan. Yeah, definitely. I'm so happy to be talking to you right now, sir. Like, I'm really <laughs> so happy. Likewise, likewise, man. Really happy to be talking to you. Sita Ramam is like current fever going on. मतलब कि like आह uh, का fever ना दस्तों नहीं part two and all. जैसे they are on loop अनमाटन आपको. 
I did not think of it in that perspective only. So when it came to me, I really, you know, uh, filled it up in the correct correct way wherever I I got spaces to play the music. That way I got. जान डाल दिया आपने तो पूरा जान डाल दिया बोल सोल लाइक दैट लाइफ एंड द इमोशन व्हेन द इमोशन कम्स ऑन अ हीरो और हीरोइन फेस बिकॉज़ दैट फेस एक्सप्रेशन इज इक्वली मैच विद द म्यूजिक करेक्ट सो दैट कनेक्टिविटी यू डिलीवर इट आउटस्टैंडिंग I'm glad when 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 I get to hear something like this because this, this these are very very small small things that I've worked upon and when people notice these things I feel very very happy. There is you can easily estimate that I have watched the films four to five times. So. Okay, definitely, definitely. And the beauty of this is it is uh, not enough if you watch it once. It you it, you will want to watch it the second time. That is the kind of writing that he is also given. Yeah, because I was wondering, like, even when the Rama is Rama left Sita, Sita is calling him to look back, and the music they you have given there is like that will drench you in emotions, that will drive you like mad. I literally sobbed in the theater, <laughs> <laughs> and my sister was telling me when I saw. <laughs> when I saw film for the first time, no, I'm actually. uh the only time i cried was when i had to do music before like do music for that thing at that before that i was crying for the first time when i saw it i i i really cried after that when i i started giving music to it i my job now is to make everyone cry <laughs> so i really work towards that it's created in such a way jitne baar bhi wo last scene dekhte na itni baar automatically aankhe bhar jaate hain So, Thank you. And who is your best critic? I know Auntie is there. Yes, yes, yes. So when when uh, uh, I have to show it to someone, worst critic is my wife. Worst. Okay. Worst. Are they like she will? She will literally divide it into two and tell yes, good or bad. No, this is not working. This is very bad. And till date. Uh, only for by uh, uh, by even uh, the post processing of the audio and the songs and everything we collectively take a call mix acha hai ki nahi hai usme kuch changes karna hai all that call we take together us time maybe if uh, i do a small mistake here or there i get uh, thrashed by her <laughs> very tough she's a task master <laughs> wow wow so no no even for that matter sp v charan ga hmm. so I sent Sinduri only to record because I was working on the re-recording for Rasita Ramam in Hyderabad. So I told Charan Garu that uh, Sir uh, Sindhu will come and record with you if it's okay. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Let her come. And, uh, she went and uh, uh, recorded him. After that, uh, he is told uh, teacher next time <laughs> teacher varle ya. <laughs> he is asking me. <laughs> oh, she wants the outcome to be. in such a professional way so no 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 look back no compromise no compromise no, the longest that personally i have recorded charan has been probably 2 hours but uh, i think uh, for sindhuri or something he he sang for around 4 uh, 4 four and a half hours for every song Maybe, like she is the micro managing yes yes yes. yes 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 she is very very particular about certain things so that's something i am learning from her wonderful wonderful and uh, and wish you all the very very best uh, whatever the upcoming projects you are doing what are the next projects sir so i i haven't signed up anything i am waiting for something really big so i am hopeful that anu sir is definitely writing his next film he's already started writing it so i'm definitely going to be part of that uh, it will be big it will be something really big so i'm really looking forward to that one more question i got because i don't know somehow so many questions are coming out of my mind uh, the reason is you have given a kind of a classic touch to the movie mm. this is a kind of a classical feast to the people not yes. in depth classical but kind of mix yes. so the next movie do you if you stick to one particular genre of the outcome of a music mm. that will definitely impact the people that a stamp on you saying that oh ye banda to aise wala film hi karte hai mm. do you want to break the barriers and do try different things or uh, whatever you do you will stuck to the classical kind of 
you know no see uh, 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 whatever you do classical music is going to be part of it but are you going to listen to it as a classical or are you going to perceive it as classical or not is up to my craft how well i portray it to you for example ami poyave is also a classical tune but we don't perceive it like that whereas tarali tarali is also a classical tune we perceive it as a very classical tune so i i am only going to be stuck to the framework of the film that the director gives me and in in his next script which of uh, which i heard a little bit of i kind of have an idea of how to approach it it will be something completely different completely different of course it will be uh, classical in nature little 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 bit here here and that that only then the connect will be there otherwise uh, it's uh, difficult to get connected with people so far even the sita rama beyond that i like one of your song very to my personal favorite is oh my lovely lelena yes yes that yes is like uh, i don't know how you you know tuned that song it's like mischief is there affection is there kind of a proudness is there kind of owning like he this boy belongs to me the kind of ownership is there how is mixed all kind of um, feelings in one song so actually this is uh, oh my lovely lalana is uh, basically based out of a javali which this was uh, uh, composed for uh, the wadayars of mysore by uh, one karur shivaramayya i guess so uh, this song we took that uh, first portion pallavi which is the original tune of the song yes yes, yes. after that we changed it <coughs> into a different dimension so that it fits into the film of the uh, the, the script plot so basically we wanted to present that javali in a new way so i did a lot of uh, electronic uh, programming around the song and presented it so that because a lot of uh, i believe this generation of uh, youngsters need to listen to a lot of classical and that's a way to reach them because uh, electronic sounds are something that appeals to not just youngsters even kids so so many small small kids yes because it's easy to uh, easy on the ears and it's catchy on the ears so when i layer a melody which is very uh, carnatic in uh, in its nature and when i layer it with something like uh, edm it it gives a very new sound so i was very happy with the output actually <laughs> oh yes even the veena the way you used veena yes um, so beautiful i think you have used the less drums yes in yes songs than uh, original yes. i could hear most of veena violin sitara all yes. these things drums were very little very yes. less Of yes. the only few songs. Correct. Very because occasion-wise, nice. uh, yes, uh, I I'm uh, I've uh, used uh, very less because uh, it's not uh, the songs that I'm doing are not very very you know dick chick dick chick kind of songs. They are uh, very soothing. And uh, last but not least, uh, can you play Kanu na Kalyana for me on the keyboard, please? Yeah. That's my personal experience. One second. the song is so complicated actually on the top layer it is the best task for the day because i am looking at uh, i'm sourcing my chord notation book and i'm playing it for you oh very sweet before I you could find it i tell you i spoke to sinduri ma'am yesterday uh-huh. i couldn't control my emotions i said can you sing a line for me please <laughs> and she sang that so beautifully without any second thought Yeah. She'll immediately she'll sing. She is gem of a person, same as your mommy. It's like everybody whom I spoke to is sweet.
కన్నుల్లోని కలలు అన్ని కరిగిపోని కలలుగా కళ్ళ ముందు పోరాడదా బ్యూటిఫుల్ వా దిస్ ఇస్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ Actually, actually, it's a very difficult song to play because uh, um, generally in, in your song, you have the downbeat is always sa, but in this song, the downbeat is always me. That's why it's very difficult. <laughs> you have given a tremendous, exceptionally, beautifully, whatever um, adverbs are, like uh, adjectives are in English, they will all come up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. acha wonderful beautiful album you have given to us and i wish you to get these kind of films and the music which you are giving to us will do the world will do the our heart not just in that telugu or tamil i wish you to go more further into kannada tamil and malayalam all kind of genres you touch it and please make us a, you know enjoy your music more and more to bring to us so really glad that uh yeah, you interviewed me and uh, really happy that i've spoken to so many people really happy that my music has reached so much i really from the bottom of my heart uh, thank telugu and ra radio thanks a lot to you as well and a special thanks from the management team uh, vilas garu venkat garu mahesh garu and janmath garu who is who runs this radio and thank you and, and special thanks from this management team also <laughs> Aunty, see, can you please come forward? I quickly have a word with you before I could end up the meet. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you so much for your time. We spoke for almost an hour yesterday. Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. I didn't tell anything about it to him. <laughs> yeah, now, now, so much has opened for you, and thanks a lot for giving so much of information. You are such a wonderful mama anybody could have. आपको कुछ बोलना है उसके बारे में किसने विशाल सर के बारे में बोलना क्या है हम तो चाहते हैं कि बहुत अच्छी तरह से और अपना अपने म्यूजिक से सारी दुनिया को रिझाए और लोग बहुत अच्छा संगीत सुने और बस इसमें अपना पूरा नाम कमाए हो और संगीत को जो है अमर कर दे बस एंड थैंक यू थैंक यू आंटी जी नमस्ते एंड विशाल सर थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर योर वंडरफुल टाइम एंड यू मेड आवर डे नॉट एवरीबॉडीज डे हु एवर स्पोक टू यू रियली रियली एंड आई डेफिनेटली वांटेड यू टू कम अगेन टू आवर रेडियो यस टू मोर बेटर बेटर इंटरव्यूज विद योर बेटर एल्बम्स थैंक यू सो मच all the best for the upcoming films as well thank you so much ma'am really happy to be here thanks to sindhuri ma'am thank you thank you thank, thank you so much kimli thank you so much. so sweet of you oh thank you so much thank you so bye yeah. okay that's all and we will mari man interview vishal chandrashekhar gar to sitaram fame మన మ్యూజిక్ డైరెక్టర్ తో ఎంతో మంచి ఇంటర్వ్యూ అయింది మళ్ళీ వచ్చే వారం మళ్ళీ నెక్స్ట్ టైం మరొక మంచి గెస్ట్ తో మీ ముందుకు వస్తాను అంతవరకు సెలవు థాంక్యూ విను వినిపించు ప్రవాసాంధ్రులకు చెప్పడు తెలుగు అయినా రేడియోలో మీ ఆర్జస్ సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ స్టేట్ యూనిట్ నమస్తే